A temporary hospital is just the place for these injured soldiers of the wild to hunker down during Dunedin's weather bomb. The hoiho, or yellow-eyed penguin, is just one of the breeds being welcomed to Otago Polytechnic's School of Veterinary Nursing. I'm Roselle Lavone. I'm here with Lisa and Victoria at the pop-up penguin hospital at the Otago Polytechnic School of Veterinary Nursing. And it's only been open for a week, but they're expecting over the next five weeks to have all these cages filled. Wildlife veterinarian Lisa Argilla has moved well. to Dunedin for a second summer to take care of the injured birds. Feet are very important for these guys. Obviously, they do a lot of um, you know, swimming and they need their feet for steering and standing and walking. Uh, yellow eye penguins um, will nest quite far away from the water, so they need to be able to have really good feet so that they can walk to their nests. So, um, yeah, we need to make sure that we get her foot sort of up in you know, tip top shape so that she can continue to be a successful breeder. Argilla says it's especially important to take special care of female yellow eyed penguins as numbers in the wild yeah, are decreasing. Uh, her, it's, 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 there are only 226 breeding pairs left on mainland New Zealand. The lowest penguin numbers have been in 25 years. A group of surfers brought this bird to the facility after it was found following a barracuda attack. When that fracture heals, it's actually going to end up incorporating the, um, the bones on either side of it, so um, that's going to end up ankylosing that toe. And if that, if that happens naturally, that'll be good. That means I don't have to do it surgically, but if that doesn't happen, I'll have to do it surgically. The hospital is also nursing this young crested penguin back to health after it sustained an abdominal injury near its home. <laughs> the injured birds were previously sent to Wellington or Palmerston North for care. But with less distance for these penguins to travel, they are able to start intravenous antibiotics much sooner and have a much greater chance of making a full recovery. Roselle Lebone, The South Today.